Welcome back to Automation of the Week. My name is Brian Hayes, and today I wanna to show you how you can trigger a flow when a lead is converted. This trick has a lot of different use cases, but just think of a situation where you've got a lead that gets converted into a new account or a new contact or opportunity, and you want something else to happen in the system. It's not the easiest thing to do. You might first think, well, if I create a new account, then I could have that trigger the automation that I wanna have happen, or when I create a new contact or a new opportunity but there's all of these different situations where you're not actually creating a new record. The account, the contact, the opportunity, they might already exist. Or maybe you don't even wanna create an opportunity upon conversion. Still, there's a way you can trigger that automation when a lead's converted without having to start from one of those other records. And the way we do that is actually through some hidden fields on the lead record itself. So let me show you. I'm gonna bring up the flow screen in Salesforce setup and then create a new record triggered flow. Click New Flow, choose Record Triggered, and hit Create. Now for the object, we want to use the lead object. And there's a couple things we could set for conditions for starting off this automation. Yes, we could use the status. We could say when the lead status is updated to converted, then do X, Y, and Z. But I actually think it's a little bit better if you use some of these hidden fields that are on the lead object. The first one is the converted checkbox. It's called Is Converted. And if it equals true, then that means that lead has been converted. And this will work regardless of your different lead status values that might change over time. The other thing that you might want to use are these hidden converted fields here. So if you search for converted in the conditions area, you can see converted account ID, contact ID, converted date, converted opportunity ID. These are great because they get filled in once that lead has been converted into one of these other records or after one of these other records has been created. So if you've got some sort of automation that you want to have run when the lead gets converted, but not till after the account has been created, well, you could look at the converted account ID field and say, I want this to run once there's a value in that field when, when it's no longer null. And the way we would do that is just select it and then choose is null and write false. And then for the is converted, we could put true here. Although this first condition doesn't really matter. We'll mark this to run only when the record is updated to meet these conditions, and then we'll close out of that screen. And now we can add whatever other steps you might have in mind. A couple things that come to mind, maybe you wanna notify someone in the company every time a lead gets converted, or maybe you wanna create some tasks upon conversion. That'll do it for a quick tip. If you found that helpful and you didn't know about those hidden fields on the lead object, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.